Hi there. In this video we are going to upgrade this uh, Asus P2520L to Windows 11. Hopefully it works well. Sorry for the flickering, uh, just wanted to tell you I cannot do um, an upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11 because the particular laptop that I'm working on actually has a um, password on it and I, the person that I'm doing this for is not here and I cannot just call give me your password because although it's not correct, many people have the same password for more accounts. So. It's a personal thing, I cannot request the password, so I'm going to ignore. I know for a fact that uh, all the data on this thing is uh, backed up on other um, external devices, so I can wipe everything. And to do that, I will just create a Windows 10 bootable drive, boot from it and inst Windows 10, I'm, I'm behind with that Windows 11 bootable drive, boot from it and wipe everything on the laptop and put only Windows 11 from scratch on it. And that will also bypass uh, TPM 2.0 if, in case this laptop doesn't have it, uh, it will not matter. Because otherwise, if it doesn't have it, camera focus, it will not allow me to, to do an uh, in-place uh, upgrade anywhere, anyway, to Windows 11. So we are just making things even easier. And the yeah, excuse the construction things all around this. Having created the Windows 11 bootable drive, plug it into the laptop and then this being an ASUS, we will power it on and press F8 really quickly to enter the boot menu to boot from our uh, bootable drive. Still pressing F8 and it doesn't seem to be doing anything at the moment. So I might wait for a few seconds and let it uh, think about what it needs to do and it seems it's directly booted from my usb drive so no need for anything else english english this no this we want romanian not moldova although it shouldn't actually matter keyboard input uh, what keyboard i have here it's us so you not ukrainian United States International. This is it. Next. Install now. We don't want to repair anything. So let, uh, let it do its thing and be back to you. Oh, actually here you are. I don't have a product key. In theory it should recognize the hardware and activate by itself uh, after the installation because we had Windows 10 on this thing. What we are going to install, uh, ah, the question is what Windows was on this laptop. I need to find out if it was Home or Pro because we need to install uh, Windows 11 of the same type for it to automatically activate. So be back in a second. Okay, so that was a misunderstanding. Uh, there wasn't uh, a good license on this laptop. So then I'm just going to simply put Windows uh, 11 Pro and uh, deal with buying a license later or simply using it as a trial because shouldn't be an issue and we don't seem to have the minimum system requirements to install windows hmm I, we will see about that okay so uh, we are taking into consideration that we don't have secure boot or any kind of tpm although we might have have but they are not enabled but i don't care i'm going to bypass all of that and simply do these steps right here and windows 11 will work basically on any 64 uh, bit capable uh, pc in my in my opinion at least and this is what other uh, people seem to be saying also so uh, let's get into it let's reboot this pc and start with this thing right here Okay, we are right back here, did the settings, now let's press Shift and F10. On some laptops you actually need to press Shift, Function, 
which is a button that is actually labeled Fn. So Shift Fn plus F10. But uh, on most laptops, Shift and F10 is enough. And at this point, we need to run Reg Edit. As you can see, Reg Edit and Registry uh, Editor opens. We need to go to the PET uh, HKEY Local Machine System Setup. And here, right click on the Setup folder, New Key. And this new key needs to be named L A B config. So lab config, press enter. And in here, again, uh, right click, new, and it needs to be a D word 32 bit. And in this thing, we need to name it bypass TPM check. So bypass and daughter asking for me, but uh, I will be with her in a moment. Bypass TPM check. We double click on this one that we just created and set one instead of zero, zero, sorry, and okay. And now we need uh, to create another D word right in here. And this D word will be bypass secure boot check. Uh, but make sure uh, that you type these names properly and you don't uh, do any uh, misspelling or stuff like that because then obviously it will not work it as it will not find them. So double click on this one also and again set data to 1. And in theory these two uh, tell Windows 11 don't check for TPM, don't check for secure boot, just install and whatever. At this point simply uh, close this thing, close this thing, Click on next and install now. And as you can see, setup is starting and it's just working. We are in here. I don't have a product key once again. Once again, Windows 11 Pro. And in theory, now it should uh, go to steps that we didn't uh, really see before. Windows install only. We don't want on this particular laptop to keep files, setting and applications. We are not doing an in-place upgrade. Uh, if it didn't have a license to begin with, then why would it matter? Uh, yes, I think I'm going to format all of these partitions. As you can see, they are quite empty already, but uh, if I'm going from scratch on this thing, a format will do good to get rid of all that was before on them. For you, uh, make sure you don't uh, erase your data like that, because uh, that would not be fun. Okay, so I formatted all of the partitions. And now on this one, 114.5 gigs, this is where we put in Windows and this will be the rest for the data and this, and this will be hidden to us. So, yeah, it cannot actually install here. Why? Let me just check. I think we actually, yes, it's, an, uh, it's a master boot record. So it has the old style of uh, uh, arranging stuff on the disk. So we need to have a GPT at this point, simply delete everything. Again, this computer has nothing on it that we need to save, which makes uh, my job way easier. And I, I like this. I hate it when I need to, uh, to tip it all around uh, trying to, to save uh, data when 
partitions are not just the way they need to be. So now we are again creating an approximate partition. Uh, let's say uh, something like this and see how big it makes it. I don't want to uh, calculate now exactly what size of partition I need. Something a bit above 100 gig. So I created a 100. What did I write there? Ah, jeez. Okay, you you see, this is when you 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 are stupid for a moment. I actually wrote way more than I intended to to write because I wasn't careful. And my daughter getting ready for uh, Christmas carols. Christmas carols with a bell around me. So let's try this partitioning once again. Let's do something. I don't want to calculate because a gig has uh, one zero two four megs, so one thousand and twenty four megs. I don't want to try and calculate. This should be good enough and closer to what it was before. It also will create its own partition. Obviously, okay, we are good and also create a partition in the unallocated space and this one we can also format it for the one where we install in windows it's no need to format it that will be done by windows itself so a quick format on this one and now on this one we are installing windows and the two above that's for windows 11 to decide what it will do with them and the other daughter crying downstairs because she doesn't want to go to the uh, day sleep. Okay, and now just wait for it to do its thing. And it will copy the files and whatnot. So be back when it finishes. This thing just rebooted itself and it's continuing the install. So hopefully it's at least at half time. I had something else to do, so this stayed like this, I think, for more than an hour at this particular screen. The install itself, honestly, didn't take, I think, longer than Windows 10, so that's quite okay. Let's see what questions uh, this thing has for us. Uh, uh, hey, Windows 11, I already told you it's uh, US. Quick to forget. Skip second keyboard layout. Don't need that. And it will want to connect to a network, so I will give it a bit of uh, internet in a moment. And we are connected. Gave this thing a name. Next. Next step personal use. Nope, I don't want a Microsoft account, so let's see sign in options. Maybe we can sign in without an account. Offline account. That's it. Still trying to make us use an on online account, which honestly isn't bad. Just think about it. You use an online account for your, I don't know what you have, uh, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, uh, even your Android phone or your Apple Apple phone, all of them have online accounts. But when Windows tries to, Microsoft tries to do it, everybody says, Whoa, why? But anyway, I'm joining the band and skip for now. No online account for me. Okay, and now the name of the user, I will input it and click next off video. Again, asking for location, when Facebook does it or uh, Google does it and they know when you enter the mall and give you commercials to the stores that are next to you, everybody is okay with it. If Microsoft does it, why do they do that? But this is not my laptop, so I'm joining the band. No location. No find my device, although Again, everybody allows all of this on other devices. They don't even blink an eye, but whatever. Poor Microsoft. Ah, 
come on, how many of them are they? But at least they are all one after the other, so you simply no, 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 and you are done. I think we are at the last step here. This is changed from Windows 10 also, different colors, but the text basically about the same. So let's wait for it to boot directly into Windows 11. Ta-da! And this thing started up and seems to not have any issues. We will check the drivers in a moment. Not even sure uh, how to most easily go to control panel, so I'm just going to to search for it. And obviously you can pin, pin it to start or to the taskbar directly, depends on what you want. Presumably I will pin it to start and uh, it will be here when I actually need it. <laughs> yeah, so we just only work with the account, Microsoft account, that is, well, nothing that we can do. So let's go to control panel. So yeah, if you don't know where start is, it is here in Windows 11. They just move it in the middle of this uh, taskbar in here, which is fine by me. Device manager. And what see, uh, what see, what see, let's see what we are missing. So GPU and a few other things. Let's see if we can actually update the drivers now that we installed it. Update driver, search automatically. Search on Windows update and uh, in theory, let it do its thing and we'll see if, it's if it finds something or if we need to manually install them. As we can see for in here, uh, it's for the integrated GPU, probably it also found for the dedicated GPU lower. It's for the uh, sensors. So basically it found a lot of them and we are going to be installing all of them. Yes, it also found from NVIDIA, so that's perfect and it's downloading. Okay, so I entered this menu. As you can see, we need to activate Windows to make personalizations, but it actually allows us to do them. So probably it will not allow us to change the desktop background or something, which honestly doesn't matter. So if you want, you can use Windows uh, 11 without any issues. So, uh, yes, I set it to left instead of center, just so the owner of the laptop will uh, get used to Windows 11 quicker. Updates are over, uh, needed to correct the time. So although I put uh, the correct country, it didn't know the correct time zone, which is a bit weird, but uh, hey, there's that. Uh, it updated the video drivers by itself. We have the sound drivers installed. So we just have a few right here, which I will update myself. Right click update and allow it to search even in here, but presumably it will not find anything. Oh, it still needs a restart for this thing, it seems. Uh, I'm not going to give it to it. I'm going to try, I'm going to give that restart later. Try to update all of the drivers uh, automatically. Uh, it seems it's not able to find them, so I will search for them manually if it's not able. It's weird that it searches really, really quickly in the past. At least Windows 10, uh, 10 took a really long time to search for drivers uh, like this. Now it's instant, so it might not be working still or something, or it's just another way of searching and it's much quicker. Anyway, manually I'm not, I have no idea what this is to search a driver for it, so I go right click properties, uh, details, and 
hardware ID and I need to search for this 8086 and this 9CA4. So what is uh, after vendor and after device? Here 8086 and 9CA4. I will do the same for all of them. I will simple, simply Google them and see what comes up. Connected. So let's try this thing once again. If the little software from, from 2016 even works on this Windows, it's awesome. And I think it, it will work. I don't see reasons for it not to work. And the only downside to having a non-activated Windows 10, why I keep saying 10, I don't know, 11, is that you don't have the shortcut for my computer or for this PC. Uh, as a standard shortcut, you need to make a shortcut of it yourself, basically from this thing with drag and drop and you create a shortcut. It's not uh, the way it was meant to, to be from uh, teams or wherever uh, I think normally you set it from here from personalize uh, teams and somewhere around here somewhere lower desktop icon settings but this is grayed out because we don't have an activated windows uh, this is a really small price to pay for not having an activated windows what is Ninity doing asking us if it can do its thing and presumably it will start. Internet is quite slow uh, at the moment, so this is why it's not doing uh, too quickly what it needs to do. Hopefully you were at least partially in focus for what I was showing. Uh, yeah, so it's working. It's downloading Chrome and a few other crazy things in here. Let's see. Task Manager, as it looked before, normally it opens like this, more details and in performance, if you want to see all your cores, normally it's like this, overall utilization, but I set it to logical processors, so I see each core and uh, hyper-threading uh, what it's doing. This has 4 gigs of memory, this particular laptop, and it's still running this thing without issues. If it would have an SSD instead of hard drive, that would be even better. Uh, okay, let this thing finish. Install the apps, then install the missing drivers. And what I've seen, we don't see that second partition. We only see uh, C drive. I put the label Windows 11. And this is the stick that I put in. So we kind of need to go to control panel once again. This thing is right here. Let's see if this remains the same like in old Windows versions. Uh, where are you? Okay, this is a new name, Windows Tools. So in here, it seems to be computer management. And we basically need to go to disk management. But then again, this is a hard drive. So things are happening quite slow. Disk management under storage. And we should see uh, this, which doesn't basically have a letter attached to it. So right click on it, uh, wait for it to do its thing, I shouldn't be doing this while stuff is installing. So I, I might wait a moment until the install finishes. Software finished installing, so let's get back to this thing. Oh, so this is not formatted, why isn't this formatted, because I did format it. New volume, let's say data. Okay. Let's see it doing its thing. Will it give it a drive name, drive letter D directly? Or do I need to give it? Didn't finish yet. 
or did it add assign okay so it was formatted it just didn't have a letter and I misunderstood the situation and now we also have that partition which is awesome all that we need to do now that all software is installed is search for these drivers with Google Chrome not Edge so yeah blah blah before we continue jeez I agree I sell my soul 8086 what 8086 and what was the other part oh why are you like this where are you wasn't I with this thing open 20 in the background 9CA4 9C84 why didn't you tell me I typed it wrong I, I wasn't cert finding anything proper and I put an A and that was the big problem I initially I put an 8 instead of A so driver and let's put an ASUS right here and see what we get not much from what I can see so it's mobile 5 generation intercall term and management but hmm mm -hmm. Asus web page is weak at showing us as you could see I could find it on Lenovo web page but on Asus no uh, let me go to Asus web page and uh, input in the model and see if I can get a driver at least for Windows 8 that should work for also Windows 10 so I'll be back in a second so I'm on Asus web page uh, inputted the model number driver and utility utility let's see what we get here do we have at least a Windows 10 yep we do which is great what I know that we actually need oh it has a full driver package that's that's actually awesome thank you Asus for that download it and be done with it five minutes instead of trying to search for the proper one I have the whole pack and one in that whole pack is the good one for sure because Windows 10 drivers 64-bit for sure work for Windows 11 64-bit download it and un unpacked the full archive and guess what it's a disk image luckily Windows 11 as Windows 10 know how to handle it and uh, somehow they mount it and let's try I, I was expecting again a setup file in there so geez that's that's a bit weird honestly let's see how it's seen because I'm expecting it to be seen as a drive okay it is seen as a drive so let's see if it finds it by itself in here and it did and it's installing it which is perfect let's do the same for all other ones be back when i finish so now we have all drivers installed and everything is working perfectly yes i have a few of these that i need to close before closing device manager uh, as you can see here again i ended up searching for things like this to find the drivers because what we initially found in here the whole driver pack didn't have everything in it and this chipset driver wasn't working it just would not install so yeah i will link a video in the description that shows you how to basically search for drivers and i yeah, as you can see here i searched uh, one of them i think i downloaded from hp or something like that 
but again doesn't really matter as long as uh, in the end it worked so we have a bunch of uh, drivers in here but it's finished so this thing is working perfectly with Windows uh, 11 I would put more than 4 gigs of memory I would put at least 8 gigs in total and an SSD instead of a hard drive but overall absolutely no issues whatsoever uh, with this thing so yes you can use windows 11 on older hardware without problems even if it uh, initially tells you no nope, you can't it tells you because they try to make windows 11 safer than older versions but even if you install it like this you are at least at the level of safety that older versions uh, had so you are not losing anything uh, that you didn't have already so anyway that's about that in my opinion thank you for watching this video hope it helps you in which case please give it a like check out my other videos and as always see you in the next one bye